Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope the fathers out there had a good Father's Day and they enjoyed uh, being with their family. Uh, I know uh, I did, and I actually went out, believe it or not, we went out and we did things, but I stopped at a Dollar Tree. We were far out somewhere out here in PA, a Dollar Tree I'd never been to before. And I found some really good DVDs, in my opinion, and a couple Blu-rays, guys. Uh, very, very good to add to my collection. These are movies I don't have. And uh, some of them are actually pretty cool, the way they came packaged, which is pretty awesome. And I had to, had to scoop them up. So, um, yeah, let's get into it, guys. And I'll show you what I picked up here. I got a couple Blu-rays first on the pile that I'm going to show you. And the first one we, what I got from this Dollar Tree is um <laughs> now you remember the movie um what was it called um honey i shrunk the kids i believe was it but this is a different one called help i shrunk <laughs> help i shrunk my parents so <laughs> i guess this is by yeah this is by echo bridge you know what i mean it's a blu-ray combo pack so i uh, picked that up there you know for that dollar 25 you know what i mean d uh, dt 25 store which i call it sometimes but you know, people are still calling it the Dollar Tree. You know what I mean? But yeah, I might as well just keep saying the Dollar Tree, even though it's a dollar twenty-five. It just sounds better, you know. So I picked this up there, man. I yeah, I'm gonna check it out, man. It's probably gonna be a, a pretty funny movie to watch with your family or kids or even by yourself. But it's yeah, help. I I shrunk my parents. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna check this out. And what I like about it, cool, is it, it's a DVD, DVD Blu-ray combo pack. It's always good to get those if you can there. You know, um, you know uh, for the price. Look at the kid on the front there. He's like, oh, my God. You know, <laughs> but yeah. So I'm going to check that one out, guys. So that's the one of the Blu-rays that I that I got there. The next one here is uh, actually an older movie. It's just a Blu-ray. And I actually don't I actually don't have this movie, period. It's an older movie called, if I say it right, Hugo. I believe it's Hugo. It says a masterpiece. So that was there on uh, Blu-ray. So I, I picked that one up. You know, pretty awesome uh, cover there. You know, so I'm going to check that one out too. You know, and uh, yeah, man, I wanted to add it to my Blu-ray collection. Any kind of Blu-ray I can get that I don't have on Blu-ray, you know, uh, you know, I'm going to pick it up. You know, some of the movies, sometimes you, you'll, you'll never be able to find them on Blu-ray. So you just should be happy with the DVD. If, if, it's, if it's a movie that you're really going to like or it's something you think it's going to be really cool, you know, uh, you should just... Go ahead on and keep getting those DVDs because I, I tell you what, man, the Dollar Tree, you know, uh, some people get in there and they scarf those Blu-rays up. And like I like the last video I made, remember I found that 4K one, uh, that Arizona. I've never seen a 4K ever in any Dollar Tree I go to here in PA. Not not one, except for the one I found uh, uh, recently. I was just blown away when I found that. I'm like, wow, man, for $1.25, a, a 4K you know, a 4K Ultra HD, you know, movie, man. I, I couldn't believe it, but, you know, that's probably the only one I'm going to find for a while. You know what I mean? Uh, I might get lucky sometime. I'm going to be going on a trip here, um, you know, uh, pretty soon, you know, uh, probably next month or whatever. And uh, wherever I go, uh, you know, I'm going to see if I can find some, if they have them down there at their Dollar Trees. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, that is Hugo that I picked up there, so. Now, the rest of these are DVDs, but they're good packs, man. And actually, uh, one of them is actually a horror, which I'm going to show you right now. This is pretty cool, man. I, I don't know. I believe these might be from Walmart, but it is a eight pack. Eight, it's called, uh, includes eight bonus movies. This looks like, this looks like something from Walmart. It's called the, the, the Snow Creature, right? snow creature on the front right and then there's another movie in there that i didn't open yet which includes eight bonus movies over 11 hours so it's actually a double pack it's a double pack so i picked that up um there too at the dollar tree man uh it might be pretty cool i don't believe i have the snow creature i gotta go back into my archives of, of dvds that i picked up for the dollar tree but it's actually it's a combo pack so uh, that's cool. I'm going to pick that up. It's, it's especially for the price to get two for that price DVDs. Honestly, guys, you, you know, you definitely can't beat it. You know, you're going to probably pick it up. You know what I mean? So that's cool, man. This is, uh, yeah, the, the snow creature. 
with bonus stuff in there, you know, and, and stuff like that. So that's another one I picked up. Now this one is really cool that I picked up. Man, I was really I'm glad to have it. This is um the paranormal collection. 13 features that's on here. Some of this stuff is from the uh what is it, the PSI factor that that I already have. Now I don't know if they're the same episodes because I I don't know how many episodes Dan Aykroyd made of PSI, but I like it, the PSI fact. I really like that. You know what I mean? I like sci-fi and horror movies. So this is the collection uh, that I got here. Pretty cool uh, front cover there, you know, another double. So I, I picked that up at my, um, at the Dollar Tree. I went to all by Echo Bridge or some, some people say Echo, Echo Bridge, but yeah, that's cool to pick up those double packs for that price. Now the next one here, it's, it, I'm not really into these kind of these kind of kind. I like some of these some of these movies. Now this one actually says Kmart on it, guys. Kmart, man. Kmart for five dollar promo. You know what I mean? Which is really cool. And I guess there still is some Kmart's around. You know what I mean? I actually used to work at Kmart. I actually used to be on a refurbished team, and I made them big K's. Remember when it was called Big K's, Big Kmart? And I was on a refurbished team, and I actually um, helped. Uh, you know change the store around refurbishing them into big k's and i actually became a um employee afterwards this was like back in the like the middle or late 90s you know and i, I worked there for about four or five years and uh, we had a great team we worked with man it was it was really awesome team man and it was uh you know i got my first big <laughs> tv there you know back in the day you know the old trinitrons and the you know the the regular televisions you know, I got a White Westinghouse TV, man. I don't even think you see White Westinghouse anymore. But man, I was so glad to get that. That's when I got my, you know, uh, you know, my first apartment, man. And at that time, I was struggling, man. I, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. I had this little, you know, this little, uh, little color TV, probably a 13 inch or something, man. But I, but I busted my ass and I got a nice, like, I think it was a 25 inch or something like that, man. And uh, yeah, man, I, I worked my ass off back in those days, you know, in the young, my younger days, man. And I, and they were just a really nice. They were like a family. So I really miss Kmart. I do. I miss Kmart, man. I wish Kmart would come back. I really, I really do. I mean, everybody loves Walmart now. And Walmart does this and does that. But you know, uh, I'm not no shade towards Walmart. But I, I used, to, I love K. I, I used to love Kmart, man. You know, what I mean, I just miss those days, you know, of, of Kmart. But this is from Kmart, man. This is actually a wild uh gritty westerns all right four movies so i'm going to check this out and and it just bought back like a you know the nostalgia of, of you know back in the you know the early middle 90s and just working there man you know what i mean of, of the of the you know the older stores like kmart and sears you guys remember sears you know then there was a, a store called Sears. if you guys remember that you know, and uh, if you want to go way back, you know, as a kid, my mother used to take me to a store called GB's. I don't know if you guys ever heard of GB's, you know, but uh, she used to take me there, you know, as a kid, man. I would go shopping with my mom at GB's, man. But yeah, man, and it just, when it said Kmart, I had to get it, man. Like, just re it just reminded me of my old job. And uh, it looks like it has some decent Westerns on there, guys. Check it out. And then on the back, you know, it's a du another double, another double uh, DVD. So yeah, man, I'm gonna uh, check out some of these westerns because some of them were actually good. You know, some of the western, uh, western movies are good. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna. This is like the Pony Express Riders, you know, different stuff like that. Bounty Killers, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. So good deal for that buck twenty-five. You know. Now these ones here, guys. Oh uh, man, I've never seen these in <clears throat> the Dollar Tree, but I had to pick them up. I got two of them. And it's actually a Lego. Check this out. It's in a box. It's a, a DC Comics uh, superheroes uh, comic clash original movie. Check that out. I've never seen these in the Dollar Tree. So I picked up the suit. The you know the Lego one with the Superman guy on there. The box is actually in good condition too. Some of those box DVDs that you find out in a box, I get they're smashed up. You know, from people slamming other Blu-rays or DVDs on it. But I was really, like, stoked to find this there. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely going to check these out, man. This is really cool. The Lego movies are awesome. You know what I mean? But, yeah, there's a, the back there, you know. So, yeah, man, I was happy to find this. I swiped them up really quick because there was only two there. 
But yeah, I like that. That's pretty awesome. Now it's not gonna <laughs> make good room on your on your movie shelf or casing or bookcase or anything, but you can you can figure out a way to fit it in there where it won't damage it. But yeah, that's pretty awesome, man. I like it, man. So that one, and then there's another one I got here that was there. This is the uh, Marvel DC comic Marvel superheroes Aquaman Rage of Atlantis. So I found this one with DVD. Uh, a limited edition exclusive includes um, Jessica, Green Lantern, and Lego minifigure. So these have little minifigures in there, which is awesome. So I picked this one up there. So I'm happy to have this, man. I don't know. A lot of the videos I watch of you guys doing the videos, um, I've never seen this yet. I know you guys are probably going to find it when you go to your, your Dollar Trees, but that's pretty awesome, man. So yeah, man, uh, I'm going to check this out. That's really cool. I'm glad to find that, man. It's something different from the dollar, the dollar Tree that I found when it comes to finding these DVDs and Blu-ray movies. You know, now we got here. I picked it up because I don't have it in my collection. It's it's a it's a it says a film by Gabriel Mendetti. You know, uh, don't butcher me for his last name, but it's called. They call me. I think it says they call me Jig. Jig, I think it is a a a superhero like no other. I don't have this one, so I had to. I picked it up. Maybe it's going to be a pretty decent movie. If you guys know about this movie, uh, let me know. I picked this up there, so yeah, it looks like from the back of the description that it would be a pretty good movie, guys. I'm not sure, but I picked this one up there, so yeah, I'm gonna check it out, man. Anything I don't own that looks like it'll be pretty good horror or sci-fi or like a maybe like a gritty dark superhero type movie, I'm gonna pick it up. So yeah, I picked that one up. So that looks interesting. Now you guys that are not that are young, you probably don't know this uh, the sitcom that used to come on TV, but it's part of uh, nostalgia for me because of growing up at real little, my mother, you know, used to watch all these sitcoms, you know, these good old sitcoms. They don't make sitcoms like they used to, guys. They just don't, like, they don't make good sitcoms like, um, you know, back in the day, like Silver Spoons or, um, you know, or uh, uh, Different Strokes or, you know, Facts of Life, like these these ones that I grew up on, you know what I mean? You know, you guys back in the day, we watch uh, all kind of sitcoms, Punky Brewster, you know, uh, different ones like that. You know, Sam Fruit and Son, uh, All in the Family, you know, Mama's Family. I loved it, that show. I watched the hell out of Mama's Family, man. You know, uh, Vicki Lawrence is funny, dude. I, You know, that's that's back in my day. You know what I mean? My mother, I grew up basically watching this stuff, honestly, with my mother. My mom used to love all those shows like Hogan's Hero, you know, stuff like that. But this one here, I had to pick it up. It's the complete second season, even though it's the second season. But I used to watch this with, with my mother. You know what I mean? And it was a good, funny sitcom. And this is, it's a complete second season of Soap. I've never seen Soap in the, in the, um, in the Dollar Trees. So I picked it up and, uh, yeah, they were funny, man. They were funny. You know, the guy, you know, Benson, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? All that stuff like that. So I, I picked this up there. You, you can't beat it. You know, if you ever want to just pop in and watch some of this stuff commercial free, you know, you have like stuff like freebie, on there, which is the uh, Amazon thing, and it's Tubi. They have all these old shows, but, you know, it's good to watch them, but you have to go through a lot of commercials. I get tired of commercials. So if I can find, like, the old sitcoms anywhere that's a decent price, man, I would rather pop in a DVD and watch it than watch all these freaking commercials. But it's good that they bring those old school, you know, sitcoms back to you, you know, on, on TV, you know. So, But this is the complete second season of Soap, guys. I'm going to definitely... Check that out sometime when I'm feeling nostalgia and pop it in. And, you know, it reminds me of, you know, when I was my childhood, man. Very funny sitcom. They don't make sitcoms like that no more. These sitcoms today, yeah, I don't know what to say about them. So now the next one we have here, it's actually, it's a, it says a, I can't see the whole thing because it, it's covered with a sticker. I think it says it's a big Book of Horror? Let me see. I can't see that, but it has nine movies on it. So it's by Echo Bridge. Um, I think it says Big Book of Horror. You know, I'm not sure. You have to take the sticker off because it, it's not 
it's not showing you what it is because of the sticker. I can't get it off. But this is the front of it right here. I think it says Big Book of Horror or something like that. I'm not sure. But I, I found this there. I don't have this in, in my horror collection. When I try to find these, it's hard to find horror right now. Probably until, you know, around October. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe the end of September, end of October. But it has, a, it has like nine movies on here. Uh, Carnival of Souls. Uh, the Last Man on Earth. Now, some of these you're going to find on those other ones. Uh, you know, they're going to have The Last Man on Earth. White Zombie usually usually gets to be on those that we find there. Uh, I think one's called The Bat. If I can see that right, Chamber of Horrors. So, yeah, and it looks like Vincent Price is in a few of these. So, yeah, I'm, go I'm going to uh, check this out. And I know some of the ones that we get already from the Dollar Tree have some of these on there. But some of them, you know, they're not on that one. It's on this one. So it's worth the dollar twenty-five, honestly. So yeah, that is I think big book of horror. So I found that. Now, excuse me, guys, I might butcher this, <laughs> but this one here, it's a very good documentary. It's the untold story of of the victims and survivors of the uh, Charleston church shooting. Now I wanted, to, I'm definitely, I'm probably going to watch this today. Actually, I like documentaries too, and stuff talking about tragedies that happen you know in in america you know and things like that you know taking on racism and and different things like that um it's a good learning curve for you and i you know you should if you find it there you should pick it up and watch it guys but i think it's called i, I don't want to say this wrong i think it's m emmanuel or me i can't say it i don't want to butcher it guys you guys i'll show you it you guys tell me because i'm 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 just tongue-tied right now but it looks like a it, it looks very very interesting so i am definitely going to watch it looks like this is going to be sad you know what i mean so it has bonus features on there with um different things on there i guess a, about the documentary you know so yeah i picked it up man i've seen another youtuber uh, that found it and i've never i've never found it but i finally found it but yeah i'm going to check that out man so i'm definitely going to watch that either today or sometime in the week Guys, I, I like stuff like that. So, yeah, man, I'm going to watch that. It was a good good find for me. Now, this one here is called Upload. All right, this is called Upload. And this has, uh, man, he he does a lot of movies. I got to give him credit, man. It has Eric Roberts in it. Eric Roberts, he's in, Eric Roberts is in full moon pictures, movies that I have with him in there. You know, he was in a good movie called The Specialist with Sylvester Stallone, which is a great movie. Yeah, I mean, he's been in a lot of movies. I like Eric Roberts, you know. He's really cool. He has his own different kind of swagger of him than his sister, you know, Julia Roberts. And he just keeps he keeps making films. And I think it's awesome that Eric does that. So this is called Up Uploaded. Uh, beat him at his own game. So I picked this up. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty good. No, I don't believe I have this in, in the DVD collection downstairs. Because I try to find stuff with him and Eric Roberts, you know, and uh, different characters or different uh, actors that I like and actresses. So yeah, it looks like this might be a pretty decent movie. So I'm going to check this one out, man. But it's another one by Echo Bridge. You know, so yeah, I'm going to check that one out, upload it. Now the last one I have, guys, it was a it was a Christmas movie that I, I, I passed up on, right? And um, now that I went back to try to find it again, I couldn't find it anywhere. Any Any Dollar Tree I went to, I couldn't find it, and it has a, a very awesome um, actor in it, and he's a very he's very iconic actor, and I wanted to get this because he's getting up in his age. He's a very good actor, and this is, uh, uh, I think it's Santa, and as if I say it right, Santa and Pete, Santa Pete, if I said it right, uh, it's by Quest Star, and it has James Earl Jones in it. Very great actor. He's been in a really good, you remember the first Conan movie? He was the snake god in there, the snake dude, you know what I mean? Very good actor. He's been in a lot of great movies. He's very iconic. He was in um, The Big Bang Theory, just to name shows like that, you know what I mean? So I had to pick it up, guys, to add to my DVD collection. So I'm going to check it out um, probably around the holidays. I like to pop in my holiday movies, you know, around then. Sometimes, you know, uh, a lot of people watch the Hallmark Channel. It's known for Christmas movies to watch with your wife. 
or your family, you know, my daughter hates when we put on when we put on a Hallmark channel, dude, around Christmas. She hates it, man. Annika hates she hates it. But because she <laughs> can't stand that we you know, during those days, I mean, that's all we watch is the Christmas movies because some of them are pretty, pretty good, especially to watch with your wife or your your husband or whatever. But yeah, um, that's why I picked it up because it has James Earl Jones and he's getting up there in age. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, I had to I had to pick it up and hopefully it's going to be a decent uh, uh, Christmas movie with James Earl Jones. So that's all I got for today, guys. Um, like I said, again, I hope... Uh, you guys out there that are fathers that do DVD, Blu-ray, and movie reviews and videos, I hope you had a happy Father's Day with your family and your wife and kids, man. And, uh, you know, big shout out to Miranda and all the guys out there, Dave and everybody, Cheetah, you know, and, and even Katie. I've got to send her package out soon. I've been busy with work. I told her I'm going to send it out. It's just that I've been busy. It's movies I've gotten for her. She's I guess she's really like busy right now and can't do videos. She'll come back someday. She'll be back. She's got stuff she's doing. You know, I mean, I talked to her a couple of times. Uh, we talk to each other on Instagram, you know, sometimes. So she'll be back, man. I want to give a big shout out to everybody that supports Tony's House of Horror channel. You know what I mean? R really a big thumbs up to you guys, man. I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel and giving me your thoughts and views on uh, movies that I find out here, rather it be from Dollar Tree or. Uh, you know, Dollar General or even Bigger Lots, you know what I mean, in the flea markets. I like to go to the flea markets a lot uh, when I can and my local thrift stores, you know. The local thrift stores have actually really went up in price. Goodwill has really went up in price. Some of the movies you can find there that you can find in Bigger Lots, brand new, is, are cheaper than Goodwill. Goodwill has really went up in their prices. That's okay. You might find something you can't find somewhere else and you might have to just go ahead on and pick up that Goodwill goodness you know of uh you know whatever you find there but yeah they went up you know so but yeah guys thank you for subscribing please give this uh video a thumbs up uh a share it out there in the youtube community you know i really appreciate it guys and remember i always subscribe back to you guys and i always give you a heart and a thumbs up for watching my video and then sometimes i even comment guys so you guys have a great rest of the week uh, you know, 4th of July is right around the corner. That's my mother's birthday. You know what I mean? She's no longer with me, but we still celebrate my mother. So, you know, happy hunting, guys, for those Blu-rays, DVDs, and 4Ks. All right, so I'll be back soon with another video. It might not be as soon because now I got to go out and start looking more. I don't know. The Dollar Tree is, you, you know, every time I go, it gets repetitive because it's the same stuff because they're, I guess they're just very slow with putting on stuff. Or they just haven't gotten, you know, any new shipments yet. But I'm going to try other places too, like the flea markets and, and stuff like that. And, you know, sometimes big lots and places like that. Anything that finds my interest, I'm going to buy. Especially those uh, steel case ones. Those steel case ones you can actually get at big lots pretty cheap. And remember, CVS, Rite Aid, they have them also. And uh, try your family dollar. Sometimes family dollar might have stuff that none of these stores have. You know what I mean? So, all right, guys, take it easy. Have a good week. Thank you for watching, and I'll, I'll see you uh, next time. Okay? All right, guys. Bye for now.